So step one is somebody hypermobile, and there's certain criteria for that called the Baden scale. So if somebody's abnormally hypermobile, then the next question is, do they meet some additional criteria? And if so, they would be considered as having hypermobile EDS. Some of those criteria include skin that's more stretchy than it should be, skin that's softer than it should be, a tendency towards scarring in a certain way, having stretch marks not explained by changes in weight, for instance, having um, hernias, having other complications. Um, and they came up with, the geneticists came up with this point system. So there were 12 potential points, and if you scored five or more, then by definition you had EDS, and now they decided to call it hypermobile EDS instead of EDS type three, 